In this video, we're going to take a look at how to deal with footage that is not the same frame size as your project. We'll take a look at alternatives to having black bars on top and bottom or the size of your clip. Hey guys, welcome back to Final Cut Pro Shorts, a quick 1-2 to two minute tutorial highlighting some of Final Cut Pro's simpler effects and features. Every once in a while, we have to use video clips or images in our project that are a different frame size than the project itself. Instead of having black bars on top and bottom, or on the sides, another option is cropping the image, so what remains fills up the entire screen. Final Cut Pro has a couple different ways this can be achieved. First, and the simplest method, is by using a spatial conform parameter. With the clip selected, scroll all the way down to the bottom of the inspector window. If you click on the type drop down menu, you have three options. Fit, which is the default option, will fit the clip within the project's frame size without any cropping. So with a 4x3 clip in a 16x9 project, you'll have black bars displayed on the sides. Fill will make the clip fill the project's frame size. This will either scale up or scale down the clip to fit the frame size. Selecting none leaves the clip's frame size unchanged. If the clip's frame size is larger than the project's frame size, the clip will appear cropped. If the clip's frame size is smaller, black bars will surround the clip. The second method of dealing with a different frame size is by using the crop tool. Click the pop-up menu in the viewer's bottom left corner, select the crop option, and click the crop button at the bottom. A highlighted area with your project's frame size will appear in the viewer. Click and drag anywhere inside the highlighted area to reframe your clip, or click and drag on the blue handles in the corners to resize it. Click done to apply the crop and have the crop image fill the screen. These are the two easiest methods of dealing with different frame sizes in Final Cut Pro. If you found this video helpful, please let me know in the comments or by hitting the like button. And make sure to check out the rest of my channel for more Final Cut Pro tutorials. Thanks for watching, I'll see you next time.